Hey guys, today I'm going to be watching episode three of the National Treasure Edge of History show on Disney+. Plus. I am really liking the show so far. It hasn't been out for too long, but I just think the mystery that they're developing is so cool and it definitely gives me a lot of like national treasure vibes but also like I've said Tomb Raider vibes, Uncharted vibes and I love that kind of stuff. I love like the puzzle mystery of it, the solving the riddles aspect and I think the characters for the most part <laughs> are very well developed. I could do some more with the guys I gotta be honest with you but I think Billy is a fantastic villain already. Jess is a super compelling main character and I know we're gonna get some cameos from other people that are involved in the national treasure universe so I'm excited to see how that all comes about. And yeah, let's just get into solving this mystery. Solving the mystery for history. Every time he says a sentence, I am just astounded by what comes out of his mouth. And also the fact that like, if I'm being honest, the only Cribs episode I truly remember is the Mariah Carey episode. So like, I think is part of it that like, I don't like Oren so much because there's so much he reminds me of myself. Like, is that the thing where it's like, ooh, I don't like to see that side? It's so funny how they try and sell, like they're literally, the love triangle is literally a triangle on screen right now. <laughs> like it's just Liam watching these two like, hmm. But then like cut to five minutes later, it'll be Ethan watching Liam and Jess like, hmm. Beware Salazar. Yo, I forgot about him, I'm gonna be honest. We haven't seen him since episode one or even really heard about him actually. Elvis? Oh, okay, okay. He was? I, I don't know enough about Elvis to um, confirm or deny any of this. This is so funny, like, I wonder if they wrote this before, like, the Elvis biopic and everything came out, because, like, who would have thought that, like, this would be involved with, like, Elvis in 2022? That's true. I told you, literally five minutes later, they cut to Ethan being like, but that's my thing with Jess. Like, Ethan, you have a girlfriend. I'm so sorry. You don't get to be jealous. His what? No, you're the only one that cares about, like, weird conspiracy theories and shoes that are too expensive to wear. So how are they gonna get in? Like, that seems pretty hard. Oh, please do tell. I'm very curious how this is gonna happen. Wait, that is so funny. They can't even figure out how to tell the story to unlock it. Like, she figured out the story to tell and he's just cracking it through hearing like the clicks and stuff. That totally shows the difference between them, I feel like, right? I feel like that's always what happens with like the Nathan Drakes, the Laura Croft, like you always see that like they really care about the history and the story that's trying to be preserved in the clues. Whereas like the bad guys are just like blasting it open and blowing it up and that shows like who really deserves the treasure, right? Like it's not anything new, but it's just always nice to see of like who really cares about the history of the treasure and what it represents instead of just getting to the next clue. Like she actually solved that story and realized that it was a story it was trying to tell. They just cracked it open by listening to it. Oh no, she has the jade one. Oh, that makes sense. But like now she's gonna have literally two thirds of the map. That is not good. Also the jade one is beautiful. I mean, obsidian's really pretty too, but like jade is stunning. She's a stunner. Oh no, not again. Well, we know it's not Billy because they're all on the plane. <laughs> okay, sometimes Orin does say something that makes me laugh. I'll give him that. It's like a 50-50 chance I'm going to roll my eyes or laugh. Hmm, that's interesting. Did they get the license plate number? Yeah, that definitely did not look like someone that's working with Billy. And like, a, she seems more of a like sleek kind of car person, not a brown thing that sticks out. Oh my gosh, why do they have to wear those ugly wigs? Like, it makes them look like they, like, want to kidnap children and, <laughs> like, offer free candy in their van. Like, oh, it's so creepy. And also, like, no offense, but Ethan kind of still looks the same. I don't know why, but Liam looks different. Like, Liam, I feel like I'd have a harder time recognizing, but Ethan, like, they're gonna get caught on the surveillance. Whoa, this is so cool. Like, this feels treasury, right? Like a secret room underground. I'm very surprised that they wouldn't let Oprah in, though, but they're like this bug guy. They're like, yeah, just come in. Like, I feel like they'd blindfold him still. There's no way they're going to be able to get in there. Like, it's literally 
passcoded in an elevator. Like, that's not going to be easy to get in and out of. Oh, no! They showed up eight minutes early. My gosh. Give them a good Yelp review. Um, excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Like, he just left the evidence in a trash for everyone to find. And they're going to check the cameras and be like, hey, that guy went in and then this guy came out. I feel like they're going to get caught so easily. Like, not even, well, actually, also by Billy if she's, like, watching stuff on the cameras because she clearly has eyes everywhere. Warren's really put in the work. Like, I know I pick on him, but he's really done 110%, and I applaud him for it. I feel like no one's pointing out and appreciating it, and, like, he really, he went through it. There, yeah, there's no other way. They're going to lock the place down once they realize what happened. I mean, Ethan's technically still in there, so maybe he could help somehow cause some kind of distraction. <laughs> How would it be the day he met Nixon? I also don't want to be a negative Nancy, but um, your fingerprints are all over that now. Like, I hope you wipe it afterwards because they're going to be able to find you. Especially if this treasure hunt, which I think it is, is going to involve stealing more things. Oh my gosh. He's literally, his solution of a distraction is literally to Troy Bolt in this. I do have to say, I'm someone personally, like, unless I know I'm watching a musical, I don't enjoy singing <laughs> in things. Like, I just, I always skip it. So, like, to know that, like, his singing, this is, what, the second episode that it's been a big part? Like, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, again, her fingerprints are going to be all over this room afterwards. Oh, I really have to say, like, in the, like, Ethan, Jess, Liam love triangle, I'm shipping Liam and her. I think they're just so cute. And I feel like Ethan and her have had her time to do it, and, like, they've decided not to, so. The only English he speaks is Elvis songs. Oh, my gosh. I mean, no way that, like, they're not going to figure this out. Like, in this day and age, they would be so busted. I, wait, I, I'm i sorry, I forgot they have, like, an amazing hacker on their team. I take back all, except for the fingerprints, I take back everything I said. They are so lucky they have her on their team. Like, if they weren't, they would be in so much trouble. Like, I get they all bring something, but, like, hers is pretty important, let's be honest. I can't believe Graceland and Elvis was, like, such an important part of this treasure. That's really funny. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right, because, like, that's what original national treasure is, was, like, rewriting history, so it's like, why not bring in other historical figures? Ethan, I'm kind of with you, but don't be a Debbie Downer. What is that? That sounds so creepy. <laughs> I knew they were going to cut to him. It's so funny. Bro, you have a girlfriend. I'm so sick of this. You got someone and you didn't even tell her. So like, what? I don't feel bad for you, Ethan. Wow, this definitely is giving me video game vibes. This is always, somehow you always end up in a cave like this, right? But unfortunately, with a cave, there are usually traps, so they better be on the lookout. We haven't had to really deal with trap shit in anything, but I'm sure that's going to happen eventually once they get closer to the treasure. I guess you could say the security is a trap in their own way, but I just like the traps in, like, video games and treasure hunting because it's, like, just the, like, craziest things. They're like, you thought you were going to get the treasure? <laughs> Here's an arrow to your face. I just don't think you could find the treasure with one third of the map missing. Like, this just can't be right. I can't even see what's happening either. It's so dark. That doesn't seem great to me, honestly. Hello? I can't see anything. Oh, that's from a Lara Croft game, I think. No, 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 no. Stop moving, dude. <gasps> Oh my gosh, dude, they actually killed someone. Yeah, he's dead, honey. I told you there were traps. I told you. And because you guys didn't stop to look like a real treasure hunter would, that's why that happened. I feel like Billy's a real treasure hunter, so like when I say that, I don't necessarily mean her, but like she is kind of using shortcuts to get there, like using someone to crack the safe herself instead of cracking it. Not what Jess is doing. He was, but also, like, did he go about it the right way? No. <laughs> Ethan, in trying to warn Liam off, you inadvertently drew them closer together, you dum-dum. 
Yeah, but that's why she doesn't want you to know. She doesn't want you to treat her any differently than you would Ethan or Oren. It's kind of like Ethan, right? But I guess Liam was doing that too. I just wonder if they're going to find someone that like knew her dad. You know, like this has got to be like a league of treasure hunters. Like it can't just be her dad is the only person that was left out there. Like Liam's grandpa knew about her. So there's got to be other people out there, right? Oh my gosh, that sounds like him. Did you get Austin Butler since that's just his regular voice now? Dude, this treasure just got so much more cooler now that Elvis is involved in it. It's cool to see Liam getting into the treasure hunt too because I feel like he wasn't that involved in it before but now he's really like into the solving it. And he helped them with the Elvis thing so like he is bringing stuff to the table. He's not just a pretty face that sings. He's not just the Troy Bolton. Are they gonna replace him? Because I feel like a team of two is just not the same as a team of three, right? You need the muscle and then like the safe cracker. <gasps> how did- how- how did she get that? What? Did Liam send that? <gasps> what? Because Liam and her are the only one that listen to it right now, but unless- What? What? I don't get it. I don't get it because like Liam was the only one that like was there to like because obviously Jess wouldn't send him up. Maybe she has the room bug. Maybe she knows about the <sighs> I just don't want to think that Liam is the bad like I was just starting to warm up to him too. Like what? But he's the only one. But then is that so obvious that like like wouldn't they just show it, us Liam like betraying her that if it's that obvious because he was the only one there? I feel like she must have the room bugged or something like that. That's what I think. I don't think it's actually Liam. Or he's like unintentionally. She could have his computer bug, something like that, right? <laughs> I'm like trying to go through circles trying not to blame Liam for this, but like that would just make me so sad after I was just saying how much I liked him. That was such a good episode though. I really like like the heist aspect of it. It irritates me too that like they went through all that work and everything and then Billy just gets it sent to her. Like I hate when like that's what the other thing is with like these like villains and like the treasure hunt things like this is like they skip so many steps and it's like you didn't do the work. You didn't go through all that. You didn't put the clues together to find the Elvis guitar yourself and like knowing that she already has two of the three relics like that makes me think like they really got to step up because even if they do find the last relic like they're well they'll be on an even ish playing field I guess because then they would have two-thirds of the map and Billy would have two-thirds of the map but they wouldn't have the same two-thirds of the map if that makes sense so like I'm just getting worried I'm getting worried but like oh is some like is Liam betraying them like I just don't want to believe it but like he really seemed like he was only in it for the money when we first saw him so maybe maybe he got bought I don't know maybe Billy made him an offer and he was like no but then once the bar let him go he was like fine I gotta make money somehow so oh, I'm man I'm stressed now I just I can't so yeah if you have seen that episode leave your theories let me know if you think Liam is the mole or not or if it's some kind of other thing going on because I really hope it's not so yeah anyway thank you guys all so much for checking out this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know down below what you thought and if you'd like to see more reactions in the future bye